This is the Australian National University Law Library. In this video, we will show you how obiter ductum tracks amendments in a piece of Commonwealth legislation. For help in finding legislation, please see our other videos in this series. In the Federal Register of Legislation, we have browsed to the current version of the Acts Interpretation Act 1901. It has a table of contents displayed in the left-hand column, which makes it easy to move quickly through the text of the Act. Expand All will display all the parts and sections. Click the Details option below the title information to find information such as the number of the Act, a brief description of the Act, and the date the latest compilation was published. It also shows the most recent incorporated amendments and will show unincorporated amendments if there are any. If we expand the table of contents and scroll down, we can see all the sections. Looking at part five, the general interpretation rules, we can see that there is no longer a section 14 in this version of the Act. We will use the endnotes to track what has happened to this provision. In Commonwealth Acts, amendments are detailed in the endnotes. Endnote one, explains the purpose and structure of the endnotes. Endnote 2 provides a listing of abbreviations used. Endnote 3 and 4 are the two parts which allow us to track changes in the Act. The legislation history provides information about each Act that has amended the Principal Act. The listing includes commencement information for amending laws. Endnote 4 provides information about amendments at the section level. Click on Endnotes, Endnote 4, Amendment History. Scroll down to Section 14 and Subsections 14AB to see that 14A and 14B were added by number 141 in 1987 and all three sections were repealed by number 46 in 2011. If you are having trouble understanding the abbreviations, refer to Endnote 2. You can check commencement dates for these acts, for example, Act 141 of 1987 in the previous endnote. Click on View Series. The Series page summarises how the Act has changed over time. The Compilations tab lists all previous versions of the Act. Click on Principle and Amendments. This is where we find a list of amending legislation for this Act. The amending legislation is listed in reverse chronological order, and you can click through to read the text of an Act from here. Click the Enables tab to access the list of legislative instruments made under the Acts Interpretation Act 1901. Click the Related Bills tab to find copies of bills that have been introduced to Parliament to amend this Act. For more adventures in legal research, please view our other videos.